you know, but it's an energy, it's an energy here. I mean, <laughs> it's because freaking Leos, I swear. And I'm a Leo, so I get where you, <laughs> I get where you guys are coming from. But you're cutting two people. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, I can't help, I can't stop laughing. Leo, you're cutting two people, you're cutting two, <laughs> you're cutting two people out, okay? You're cutting two people out of your life. I don't know who these two people are. That has been coming up in a lot of the reads, but for some of you, you're going to move elsewhere into a new place, new apartment, or new condo. So for starters, there's a car here. I do see a car. It could be a lease for some of you. Some of you is going to be a new Honda Civic. <laughs> Look what it says. A warning. Leo's only going to warn. Leo's only going to warn people once. That's it. That's it. Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Cersei Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is the good stuff coming to you. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link to link in the description box below. And I want to thank everyone for all the support, and with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read for my beautiful Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for divine guidance and celestial light. Okay. The good stuff coming to my Leos. What do we have? Number two. This is the high priestess, Pisces energy. You could be life path number two. You could also connect deeply with your second house and everything that's happening there. Here you have Aries. So that's Mars energy, the tower, the fool, the emperor. Then you have Uranus. So that's the star card. That's Aquarius energy. There's a new beginning here, it seems. It seems to me like there's a new beginning. Four of Swords strength. <sighs> Wait, let me let me pull the cards. Oh, my face is so red right now. If only you could see my face. <clears throat> my face is so red right now. What's happening here? Okay, two of swords and five of pentacles. The good stuff. The good stuff coming to Leo. Nine of wands and the chariot. What? Um... What is this all about, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. And the Empress. Oh, the good stuff coming towards you, Leo. So, for starters, there's a car here. I do see a car. It could be a lease for some of you. Some of you is going to be a new Honda Civic. Mm, yeah, it's like a new car here. Nine of Wands, but it's it's like it's like an energy here. Like you don't want people to know, or you don't want specific people to know. Leo, okay, look, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. The the good the, the you know, I I was trying not to laugh. Not that I think it's funny. Well. Eh, eh. Then again, I do have a morbid and dark sense of humor. Okay, not too dark, but you know. But it's an energy, it's an energy here. I mean, <laughs> it's because freaking Leos, I swear. And I'm a Leo, so I get where you <laughs> I get where you guys are coming from. But you're cutting two people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I can't help. I can't stop laughing. Leo, you're cutting two people. You're cutting two. <laughs> you're cutting two people out. Okay, you're cutting two people out of your life. I don't know who these two people are. I I feel like for a lot of you, it's two women, but 
for some of you, it could be a man and a woman. For some of you, it could be your parents. Okay, but you're cutting these two out, and they're like these two are going to be mad about it. But I feel like you see them as a leech or as a parasite or something. Like all they do is waste your time or, or take your time or like <clears throat> disturb your peace. For some of you, it's more than two people. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. For some of you, is more than two people. Also, I apologize if you hear people talking and yelling in the background. It's Thanksgiving week and everybody's here. And honestly, I cannot wait for everybody to go back to where they came from. Anyhow, you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress here. So the good stuff is that your money, Leo, your money is going to be amazing. Amazing. Your money, I mean the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. And this is not just right now. This is for life. This is for life. Like, Seven of Pentacles, you are making good investments, good financial decisions. The way you're moving forward, the way you're moving with your money, the way you're walking with your money, okay? Like, this is giving me entrepreneur, boss, babe, that sort of energy. But it's like, your investments are paying off. There's also some sort of skill or, or talent that you are training yourself in. You could be taking a course online and rolling in a course here. Or you could have been thinking about it. If you've been thinking about taking a course online, this is your sign to go take that course. This is your sign to go do it because it will be, uh, it will absolutely be worthwhile. The Seven of Pentacles with the Empress. What a beautiful energy. A beautiful energy. You know, the Seven of Pentacles also gives me like this energy of you having multiple sources of income. So it's like if you lose one one income, it's like not a big deal. You have plenty of others. It's like an energy here of you having multiple streams, uh, money coming in. A lot of you, you're going to be working from home as well because the Empress is like a home type energy. So you're going to be working from home or doing something from home. I'm hearing the stock market. So some of you could be day trading on the stock market. For others, it's like you're doing a, a, a print shop. I'm hearing printer, 3D printer. You could be doing like sculptures for people. I don't know. It's like interesting stuff coming up here. You could be doing sculptures. Some of you could be doing commissions for people. This is giving me strong entrepreneur vibes. Some of you, I am seeing OnlyFans as well. Like I'm seeing the OnlyFans logo thing. Like, some of you are like, oh, well, no, no, every man is this way and that, so I'm just going to use them to get to get money. I'm just going to drain their pockets. Like, that's, that's how some of you are looking at it. So, hey, I, I mean, if you're putting food on the table, then I guess it works for you. Others of you, you're going to, okay, some of you are going to, like, do something here with the green stuff. You could be growing it yourself, or you could be picking it. <clears throat> you know. Because I'm, I'm looking at that plant and I'm seeing he's growing that plant. For others, you could be actually selling like plants. You could be doing a landscaping business as well. But it's an energy here of you being self-employed and doing your own thing. But I just feel like you're cutting out. For some of you, it's five people. But for others of you, it's two. But you're cutting out these people and they're getting mad. But you just don't give an SHIT anymore. Like you just you you just don't care, you don't want to hear it. You you know the truth about the situation. You know the truth. The Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. That's why you're just walking away. That's why you're just turning your back on the situation because it was too many secrets. The Moon, the t too many secrets, too much shady stuff going on behind the scenes. You cut it off. For others, you're gonna cut it off because you feel like these people just move too slow. You feel like it's constant baggage. Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight. You feel like it's just a drain on your energy. Like they're they're just always slowing you down. Or or you're thinking like, damn, if if I was away from so and so, I would get so much done. It's like they're a distraction. They just keep reaching out, trying to drag me into their drama. Wow, for some of you, you're gonna actually move as well. That has been coming up in a lot of the reads, but for some of you, you're going to move elsewhere. Into a new place, new apartment, or new condo. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, it's an energy here of you being rich. 
you have a money. But Ten of Swords, you're done with all the, the games. Like, you, you know, there's this audio on TikTok. It's like, I stopped begging. I stopped writing paragraphs. I stopped showing up for people or, or something like that. Like, this is the energy I get here with you, Leo. It's, it's an energy of like, I'm not giving my light to anybody unless they're unless they're adding to it I, I feel like it could be an energy here where it was like somebody you were dealing with or people you were dealing with people you had around you were draining your your energy draining your light subtracting from your light but what i see here is the good stuff is you're you're gonna snip you're gonna nip it in the bud you're gonna nip it in the bud you're you're over it you're over it. Let's see what else. For some of you, this could have been a, a romantic prospect, or it could have been your husband or your wife. That's very specific. That's not going to be for everybody. But I really feel like it's two people, two women. And it could be friends. I don't know. I heard fake friends and fake family members. I feel like there could be people around you, Leo, that only want you for what you can give them. And I feel like the truth is coming out about a situation here. You you may overhear a conversation on the phone, okay? Or it's like there could be a group call and then they thought that you hung up, but then they start gossiping about you. Like you're going to hear them gossiping about you, like talking mad is say shy tea. Like, oh, Leo thinks they're this, this, and that now because they have this. It's like you're 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 just gonna hear the you're you're gonna find out the truth. I'm telling you, the ace of swords there, you're gonna find out the truth. You're you're gonna hear the truth. You're you're gonna be honestly. It really feels to me like these people are mad at you because they're struggling we have all struggled at some point or another you know unless you were born you know in into like a billionaire lifestyle millionaire like we have all struggled we all had our top ramen days our cup noodle days pasta you, you know like we all had our days you know but it's an energy here of these people being mad hateful uh nasty towards you just it's an energy of like them hoping that you fail or, or like you lose your job like that you end up broke that's the energy i get that's the vibe i get from these people so it's an energy here of you nipping them in the bud snip see you later yeah thunderstorm i can't even make it up the card literally is gonna fly out power in this <laughs> So you can't stop laughing. And you see, it's two people. I told you it was two people. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it's two people, Leo. And look, the thunderstorm. Power and destruction, Leo. Because when a Leo... Let me tell you. When a Leo gets mad, y'all better run. <laughs> look what it says. A warning. Leo's only gonna warn... Leo's only gonna warn people once. That's it. That's that's it. But I was saying it was two people. It could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. Or one of them could be that sign. Oh, look at this. Bedroom, book burning. Oh, I'm sorry. Some of you may find out that your person was cheating on you. And they were trying to erase the text messages. They were over there shooting their shot with whoever because you see the bedroom, sexual fulfillment, intimacy, a love affair. Some of you are going to find out about an affair. Some of you are going to find out that somebody else, somebody that you were with has a hidden family. A hidden family that you don't even know about. Hidden kids. For others, if, if you're a woman and you're with a guy, you're going to find out that he's also into men. That he's bisexual. Yeah. And then Kara, unconditional love, romance, soulmates, tender. You you could be leaving behind your uh twin flame or your soulmate as well. Like you could just be kicking them to the curb and 
yeah, see, dear John, like rejection, cold hard truth. Like you see, I was also saying divorce, breaking up. Like some of you could be uh, separating from your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. Um, you know. I also feel like this could be somebody from your past trying to reconciliate, you know, trying to... Oh, wow. Leo. You're going to reject somebody from your past and then they could end up running and getting an engagement ring and, and trying to write you like this letter, getting you a card, telling you that they love you. You see that? They may run off and get a, a ring. Look. Birdcage, possessive and codependent, clingy. Yeah, this is what I was saying. Like, you're gonna cut out people that you feel are codependent or clingy on your energy. Yeah, unlikely. Not right now, but in the near future. In the near future, the storm is brewing. The storm is brewing. Yeah. And remember how I said there could be hidden kids that you don't know about, a hidden family that you don't know about? Yeah. But you could have known these two people because I get here is two people. That you're going to be cutting out. You could have known these two people since childhood or for a really long time. So that's what I have for you, Leo. That is the good stuff headed your way. I do hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>